Oh, this is what he's got, guys. Hold on. That one's ready to go. That one's ready to go. All right, go, 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 go. Guys, this is a 416. And in this video, we want to find out if this $100 airsoft rifle is a good option for beginners and is it worth the price? Guys, we picked this up from Academy. This is the HK416. And you can see right here underneath the packaging, it's got your charger, your batteries, and it looks like it's got some cheap airsoft BBs. But we're gonna open this up right now just to see what's inside. Hey. Oh, you didn't see this. Oh, the sling. That's right, it is gonna have a sling. All right, we ready to get this open? Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be a lot of cutting. The big box. My hands are getting tired. Ready to take this out? Oh, and there we go. Does it feel cheap? It feels cheap. I wouldn't say, how about you give it a shot? I want to hear what you think first. Guys, and there you have it, it is the 416 out of the package. First and thoughts, what do you think? In the middle, cheap and good. Cheap and good? It's kind of light and like. This part, this part is kind of light, but the back, like to here, is pretty heavy. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel as good of quality as the Lancer Tactical we just bought. But I can tell we're gonna like it though. I can tell we're gonna like it too. The magazine is kind of heavy and it feels good. Go ahead, take that one. Bring the magazine. Here. Go. Looks pretty nice. It's got functioning flip sights. You can flip them down just like that. Oh, I didn't know that. The charging handle work? Okay, just to see. Let's check out the charging handle, see if it works. There it goes. You can okay. see in there. I'm sure that's where you adjust the uh You know what that the hop? reminds me of? What? That right there. It looks like a shotgun shell. Mag release button right here. Magazine drops out. Collapsible stock. It looks like it's only four positions. Sling mount right here. Front mounts right here to attach the sling. Now the big question, what fire out of the box? All right, dude, hold that. Now, all the stuff out of the bottom of the box was really hard to get out. I actually had to cut it along there just to tear it all out. There goes the battery right there. There's the charger. There's a cleaning rod. Sling, instructions, and BBs. So it does show to have semi-auto and full auto, high capacity mag, adjustable hop up, here are your instructions. Guys, so now that we know what the selector switches are for, let me show you what they are. Right there is safety. Right there, semi-auto. And all the way over is fully automatic. So guys, just like the Lancer Tactical, the battery compartment is gonna be located inside the buffer tube. But all we have to do is just remove the pad off the buttstock. The way you're gonna remove this is just pressing down right there at the top. Just press down and pull out, that easy. There are the cords. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll hand this back over to Riker. It's on safety. Point that thing towards the fence and just take a practice shot. There's no BBs in it, okay. but we don't even have eye protection. Take it off of safety. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, then now we'll go fill up the magazine and put some eye protection on. Guys, I have BBs in the magazine. And attach the sling cause just because it's pretty cool to have. Attach one right there. We'll attach the other one right here. Check it out with the sling. Well, it would go the other way. <laughs> oh, there you go. Kinda, but you know, whatever. Kids do what they do. Kids do what they do? <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead, get the magazine put in there. I'll go ahead and grab that real quick. Here you go, dude. Load it. Ready to give this thing a test fire? Yep. Take it off of safety and see what he's got. It should be enough for me and you, right? Yeah. Take a shot. Oh, dude, you hit the little one. I hit the little one? Dude. That's shooting kind of good. You can actually adjust the sights right here. You can spin this dial and then you can open it wider, close it smaller, open it wider. It's got four different settings. Next thing I want you to do, I want you to test fully auto. Give that a shot. Now this one will take us some time to zero in just to make sure it's actually shooting accurate because I can't really tell right now. But what we did 
we brought out the Lancer Tactical just to compare $170 Airsoft to this $100 Airsoft. Let's see how it holds up. All right, you ready? Just so you can see the difference in the magazine size, there is not much difference. This is the HK, this is the Lancer Tactical. But when you hold them up side by side like that, you can see that the Lancer Tactical is just a little bit longer. That's looking at them this way. I wonder if we can use either magazine and any one of the rifles. I'm gonna check that out right now. Now we have the Lancer Tactical magazine. You can see right there inside the HK just to see if it works. Ooh, can I try yeah, it? Yeah, here, you go ahead and try it. Got it? Yep. First try! Yeah! Keep going. Guys, we are having no issue using the Lancer Tactical Magazine inside the 416. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slap the 416 Magazine inside the Lancer Tactical. All right. And I'll hand this off to Riker. It's on safety, okay? Okay. I already primed the magazine. Yep. I hit it. So we were able to use the 416 magazine inside the Lancer Tactical. Now let's put both of these side by side just to see which one's shooting faster. Put that Wait. one on full auto. I'm gonna put this one on full auto. You ready? I already know, this one shoots faster. Ready, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Golly. Well, the Lancer definitely shoots a lot faster than this one, but this one is still shooting pretty good. Now the HK is a lot lighter than the Lancer Tactical, by far. It's probably half the weight as that one. Get me both of them. Okay. And both. both oh, ones. you can double, oh, you wanna double shoot it? Um, okay. Hold on, let's see. Oh, this is what he's got, guys, hold on. That one's ready to go, that one's ready to go. All right, go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> I like the 416, but one thing I've noticed, check this out right here. I've noticed this with this airsoft. So we got this thing on semi-auto. Okay, so right here, it's not shooting right now because it's, it's, there's nothing left in the magazine. But what I've noticed is if I take this and flip it upside down, it shoots. Gravity. But like this, see, nothing comes out. Flip it over. Every time, I love it. Let me put this one on safety. Let me see. Is it shooting right now? Let me see. Yeah. Is it shooting? No. All right, flip it upside down and see if it shoots. Yes. Yeah, it's shooting. It's still shooting. So guys, this is a little hat. In the middle of an airsoft battle, you don't have time to prime your magazine. Flip that rifle upside down and just start going crazy with it. Like Guys, for $100, I like the 416. Let's ask Riker what he thinks. What do you think? 100 bucks. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's all we have for the video. See you later.